This is Sports News Africa Express. Here is a quick run through some of the headlines in African sports with me, Angela Agor. Five Kano Pillow players have been wounded after their team bus was attacked by armed robbers as they travelled to Oweri for the start of the new Nigerian Premier League season. The attack comes just two days before the Pillars were set to join their domestic title defence away at Heartland. The game has now been postponed. Senegal striker Papi Sissé has accepted an FA charge of spitting at Johnny Evans during Manchester United's 1-0 win on Wednesday. The Newcastle United player could face a six-match ban. United Evans, meanwhile, denied spitting at Sissé. Egypt international Mohamed Salah scored a brace in Italy to give Fiorentina a 2-1 win over Juventus in the first leg of the Coppa Italia semi-final. The result also marked Juventus' first home defeat in 48 matches. Since moving, on, since moving to Italy on loan from the English side, Chelsea, Salah has scored six goals in seven games. South African International Boxing Federation super flyweight champion Zolani Tete takes his title to England on Friday when he faces unbeaten Paul Butler in Liverpool. Tete won his title in July after he beat Teo Kinoshita in his native Japan. And the Soweto Derby takes centre stage this weekend in South Africa where the Kaiser Chiefs and the Orlando Pirates play each other at the FNB Stadium. Of late, it's the Chiefs, commonly known as the Amakosi, that have enjoyed the upper hand against arch rivals, having won three of their last four encounters. And that's your Sports News Africa Express for today. For more on these stories, you can also follow us on Twitter or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye for now.